So we're supposed to determine if the conclusion follows logically from the premises. Is this a valid or invalid argument? So our first premise, I've already diagrammed it out here. So let's go ahead and highlight the two parts of it. It says all sensations are ideas of external material things. I'm going to shortcut a little bit here and just use ideas of external. Um, so we have all sensations are ideas of external material things. So that means all the sensations are inside the set of all the ideas of external material things. So that's our first premise. Now we're going to look for the, at the second premise. And it says some ideas are not sensations. So let's go ahead and diagram this out. Let me choose a slightly different color here. So we got some ideas. Now this it's a little bit tricky because the word ideas is repeated. However, they're talking about different ideas. This one's ideas of external material things, and this is just regular ideas. If you look in the conclusion, we have ideas and ideas of external. So there's there are two different things, even though they unfortunately share the uh, name ideas. All right, so this premise says some ideas are not sensations. So that means some ideas are not going to be inside here. The thing that we don't know is are they going to exist inside ideas of external material things, or are they going to exist partially inside and partially outside. Now, they don't actually give us, we would need another premise or a more specific second premise to determine which of these is happening. Uh, so I'm gonna draw it like this. And here's ideas out here. So some ideas are gonna be possibly ideas of external material things and some ideas may not be ideas of external material things. Uh, for example, maybe these are ideas of internal material things. So now we're ready to look at the conclusion. Now let's go ahead and grab a third highlight color. Now it says some ideas are not ideas of external material things. So some ideas are not ideas of external material things. So they're asking, so the conclusion is, does something necessarily exist? outside uh, an idea exists that's not an idea of external material things so does this exist unfortunately from the premises right here we don't actually know if that exists so it's unknown and so in the conclusion it's possible that some ideas are not it's also possible that there is no ideas that are not ideas of external material things. So we cannot conclude this conclusion right here. Conclusion may or may not be true. And when this happens, that's an invalid argument because the conclusion does not automatically follow.